a poet, Kombela. Uh, he's actually a spoken word artist, one of my favorite under the arts. So, Kombela will serenade you. Hello, Kombela. Good morning to you. <laughs> Watching. Good morning. Oh. Yeah. great and strong. Very soon, night will dawn to still our sunshine. Snores <sighs> will be guided from home, sleeping away the night into rhythmic procession. So when the gods of peace descend, tell him, unity in diversity, shrouded with tranquility, is all we will love to hold as a nation in cold sleep. The nation is sleeping. Her hopes wrapped with kente and smoke, carried on the back of an elephant called NPP, shielded from the rains by an umbrella called NDC. PPP wake them to a pot of chicken called CPP, chewing with coconut water called PNC. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's not wake our nation up with our midnight fight, else blood will stain her white smoke and her hopes will vanish into nothingness. <laughs> anas, Arimeao, Anas. Let no politician stay awake. Use your tiger eye on Asiedun Ketia and Sir John. They must sleep into the stillness of dawn and rise against violence while holding hands with beaming smiles. One thing is clear. There can be no forest without trees. There equally can be no sea without taste. Therefore, Ghana can never develop without diversity gathered into a national pot to cook consolidation to evaporate unity into a national pride. A river without source will soon dry out of thirst to become a bare land and be rendered useless because wheat will creep to cloud the once existing joy of popping fishes excited to fill the air of life. Ghana is like a puzzle. Her map must fix into fullness. One society falling out will upset her burgeoning economic, political, and social credentials. Since creation, her people have been united. The virginity of her unity has greeted peace into souls, thereby cushioning many souls from the shackles of conflict. One thing is clear. The day society becomes harmonious in character, it ceases to be called a society. Our differences make us a community. Our tolerant spirit must bond us together. Blood saved our society, those of men and women who once lived. If we destroyed our land with the blood of innocent souls, our forebearers will cry with disappointment for they made all the sacrifices. Ghana's development is a pregnancy. Abortion can't be an option. A baby is yet to be born. A cry of a new dawn awaits to sound. Wait a minute. How long is four years? Why back in anguish from losing an election as though four years were a century? Youth of Ghana, wisen up. Allow not the smell of hard currency to soon your conscience into sleep to carry arms at the behest of political influence to cause blood flow like streams of water. Our nation will fly, our future will bright, we will meet to light and all will fall right. Politicians, solve your disputes in court. <laughs> I know justice, Atuguwa will be there with pink shit. So Baumia, hold your peace, because you and I were not there with Asiedun Ketia when he wore his wife jacket. We need not suffer to learn, but learn not to suffer. Because Liberia can liberate us with their library of mistakes. Let us hold a pen in our hands while driving ideas onto a paper. Not guns and knives to butcher men like meat. If we held peace to its neck, history will beg to be forgiven. Osama bin Laden will become a preacher man. Adolf Hitler a pope, and there will be no need for a united nation. So, I long to see a day a cat will eat fish with a mouse. A dog kiss a cat. A crocodile save the drowned man from the river. Those would have been the genesis of love. Let us mend those things we have in common. Let's wash away the diversities. We unite because we are one people with a common destiny. Kwame Nkrumah knew what he said when he said what he knew. That the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of the African continent. So clouding the day with a breeze of Africa, Africa, a land, Africa, a place, Africa, a people with a common destiny, no need Boko Haram in ourselves and al Qaeda in ourselves. From movies to music to dance, from dance to politics, from politics to football, we are one Africa. Mama Africa and Papa Africa have so much love to share that the very people who came to loot and rip off our providence endowed riches. We still extend the greatest of love and affection, reaching out to their hands, taking to their culture, wearing their color. 
When will that beautiful African queen stop bleaching to be fair like the rapist of our resources? From Ghana to Niger, Azonto, from Niger to Ghana, Alanta and Skileu, we are one Africa. I, can you hear the young South African girls singing? Ngo si kelele Africa. And do you hear the young Ghanaian girls singing Miss Bells? I be 16, yes. I go de be like this, so oh. if you touch my tino, oh, I go tell mommy, yeah. So like noodles, Africa will be indomitable like Indomie. Thank you. Oh my God, is it Gombilla? Yeah, Gombilla? Oh, Gombilla, that was so beautiful. Thank you very much. So beautiful. How did you put that together? It's all about inspiration and passion. So I think um, I was inspired because I believe that as young people, it is our responsibility to ensure that peace and stability reigns in Africa and Ghana. So um, my own way of contributing to the development of Africa, as far as peace is concerned, you know, propelled me to write this spoken word piece. Wow. Are you a, a student? Yeah, I'm a student at the University, University of Ghana. University of Ghana. Yeah. And I think you touched on a number of things that the students are. And for me, what stood out for me was the Ghana's development is pregnant and an abortion is not an option. option. <laughs> I, I, it's so pungent, you know, yes. that people must continue, politicians must continue. Because yes. our development, yes. you can't abort you can, it. We can't abort it. Wow. Yeah. That's, thank you so much. Are you on Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. What's um, your handle? On Twitter, it's at Gombela, J O M B I L L A. And then on YouTube, you can watch my videos, Gombela Tofik, J O M B I L L A T O F I C. And you can reach my management on 054 1134 for programs and then, you know, for videos and audios. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Gombela, for that beautiful poem. And I know a lot of young people are moved by that because they are used, you know, during elections. And also to see our leaders unite as one and drive Ghana's pregnant development <laughs> forward.